Hey, this is Glendon Cameron with the power of six. I have a dream for real. Many people have dreams. They think about them on occasion. They lie deep in the cortical recesses of their brain. But precious few make them happen. The power of six gives you the ability to start making your dreams happen in a logical and progressional way. This is day five. You will need an open mind, seven to 14 minutes per day. I have a dream that will be reality. That's a scary statement. That's a very scary statement for many people because they've thought about it, they've tried, and it didn't work out. So it's better to not dream. It's better to not even think about this stuff. Because who wants hurt feelings? That's really not the way that I see it. The big problem with making your dreams happen is the timeline. We live in such a society that appreciates microwave success quicker, 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 faster, faster, faster. That when things do not happen that way. We want to look at them as being somehow suspect or problematic. The reality is many things that are worth having take time to accomplish. I want you to do this. Think about your dream often. Don't think about it and go, oh, it won't happen. That's loser thinking. That's loser speaking. That's loser verbiage. Have a dream and. It may take some time to happen. It may take a few years or it may take a long time, but I'm going to work on it bit by bit to make it happen. Because as Sally Mae Jones, one of my neighbors growing up as a kid, used to say, if you live long enough, you're going to be old. If you live long enough, the time that it takes to accomplish your dream will pass. And you will feel terrible looking back saying, if I had just stuck with it. I think there are many people and this is just me and it's just an opinion who develop Alzheimer's or some other mental form. Perhaps they don't want to remember all those things they couldn't do. Now, that's just an opinion on some. I'm not that's not a medical opinion. Just saying that if you had the choice of blanking your mind out versus actually remembering that you want to go to Paris, but you never went to Paris, remembering you want to marry Bill or you want to marry Loretta and you never made that happen. When you become old and you reach semi-retirement state or a state where you have a lot of free time, you tend to think a lot. Have you ever talked to an older person that hasn't had any company in a while? They will speak your ear off. They're lonely. They crave human connections. Think about that. They're thinking and they're thinking a lot. So really think about your dreams. Don't just sit there and go, well, you know, that's for other people. It's for you also. See them actually happening. Day five, you'll put three things on the list to be done. Yes, we're going to crank it up a little bit. What three things? You're going to take two things that are the hardest things you need to do this week. If you haven't accomplished them already, you're going to find some more and you're going to put them on the list. This is a progression. This course is about progression. Moving forward, getting things done. Moving forward, getting things done. As you do this, you'll start to see a change in your life. Now, your list should be taking shape. And if you're not automatically ranking your action items as you write them down, don't worry, it'll come. You'll just start like boom, 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 boom. It'll become a process. But the thing is, wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat, and you'll get there. So we're up to three things per day. Hard stuff, one thing, anything. That can be your third item, any old thing. The whole thing is getting this stuff done. All right, this is Glendon, and I will see you in the next session.